Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining me this Saturday night. I am so honored and grateful to be joining you guys tonight with a special guest, Lynette Jameson. Hi. Lynette and I met a few weeks ago um, through a mutual friend and I was so in awe to be able to hear her story and the message that she brings forward. So Lynette uh, just Although your name isn't on the book, you did bring forward this message um, through the book called The Seed Movement, which the link is in the content box uh, in the video. And Lynette's story is really cool. I'll give a little intro, but I'll let you fill in the gaps. So Lynette was a professional ballerina and gymnast? Uh, I was actually a national level gymnast. National level gymnast. And I did do ballet afterwards. Ballet afterwards. Yes. And during, uh, around that time, when you were still performing, you ended up with a heart condition. Yes, I've had a heart condition since my teens. Okay. Yeah, a rare condition. Um, and really, it was just wanting to go home for a short time mm -hmm. so that I could get some clarity. Mm -hmm. And I was really far away from my uh, true version of me. Uh, and so it helped to bring back my mission. And uh, I think a lightness of why we came, why we come, uh, what we're doing here, uh, you know, the sacred honor that is each lifetime, mm -hmm. and how it can bring us more joy. So do you want to just briefly share what happened when you were going through your surgery? Sure. Um, so I had um, a rare condition, mm -hmm. which entailed bradycardia and tachycardia. Mm -hmm. And most people have one or the other, so to have both, it's it's a very rare thing. Mm -hmm. And my heart rate could go uh, 360, or around, no, sorry, 320 beats a minute, mm -hmm. and down to about uh, 20 to 40 beats a minute, which would be unconscious. Mm -hmm. um, and when I was when it was high beating, then I was at risk of a heart attack. So they wanted to put a pacemaker in. My body basically rejected the pacemaker not just once but three times. Mm -hmm. So obviously we knew that this was not going, it was not meant to be. Mm -hmm. And I know a lot about that now. Mm -hmm. When we don't force things, we allow them mm -hmm. and to organically, authentically happen. <clears throat> and uh, and I, I got the beautiful gift of going home for almost eight minutes. Mm -hmm. Which, Eight minutes. which brought the seed. Yes. yes. And do you want to share a few things that you experienced while you... Sure. So the one thing that I think is important for everyone to understand is that no one is right and no one is wrong. Like what we experience, we're creating our reality here down on the earth plane. And what we experience in heaven is also created by our imagination and by our... Uh, wanting to experience something that is light and easy for us to experience. Mm. So if, in other words, if you're very religious, mm. then of course you're going to experience and create your reality in heaven, mm. which is a very religious experience. Mm. If you, uh, you know, obviously if you're atheist, you're going to experience something that is very gentle. It could be, you know, nature mm. and color um, and uh, I assure you that all these energies are all the same. Mm. So uh, it, it's, it's a divine connection that nobody is left out. Mm. Everyone has it. We're made of this divine light mm. um, and divinity. And when we tap into it, whatever it looks like for you, it's perfect. Mm. And we can really find our joy in our limitless selves. Like a, if there's any separation from person to person, we've put it there. Mm. And if there's conflict, like what we're facing in the world right now, mm. we're placing it there. Mm. And it's really a choice of just removing all of that and uh, connecting first deeply with yourself, which I think is what we're gonna do next. Mm. And once we do that and we're madly in love with our own self, our own soul, mm. and we feel it so authentically and naturally and organically, then that love can actually really transmute, transform and reach and touch everyone around you. In really beautiful ways. I feel like I just like, like I just, yeah. you know, yeah. Very just, good. So the reason I, I first reached out to Lynette to come on to my professional page because I wanted to share this with you guys, and I, I had said to her, I have been trying to do a blog or bring forward the message of 
um, living in our wounds. And you know, when you get triggered, when someone triggers you, when someone is, you know, hitting the ouchie button on your heart, like I like to say, and then we get triggered and basically living in in our wounds or, or the idea that um, holding on, being stuck in certain life experiences and really uh, just marinating in the suffering. And I, I said, I have not been able to, since August I wanted to do this, I have not been able to bring this message forward. I can't find the words. And I reached out to her and I said, would you like to come on and do this? And she said, sure, let's do it. So we met um, briefly before starting this live. And she said, no, 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 we're not going to do it right now. We'll just like, we'll do it authentically on the video. So I said, okay, so I don't even really know what's going to happen right now. But basically when I did sit down with her, I said, I know the reason that I was not able to, you know, download these words of how to bring this forward is because I was coming from it from the place of ego. So although the message in and of itself is, is love and light, I wanted to also bring it forward from a place of I wasn't coming from a soul clean, clean plate. I was coming from the ouchie button on my heart getting triggered, right? I love that. So, so that's, that's what we're here to explore. Yes. And the intention is that for those of you who experience this message, that you'll be able to also heal and experience healing from this shared experience. Yeah. The greatest thing you actually just said there is that you came to an honest place with yourself feeling like I am, I, my, my own ego is really something that we are shameful of. Mm -hmm. And, and, you know, especially Lincoln, my son, he really encourages me to be playful about it, to high five, like, Hey, you just poked my ego. You're such a gift. High five. Mm -hmm. And every time we say it in a way that is more gentle and kind to ourselves, mm -hmm. we're actually transforming it. Mm -hmm. So, Oh my gosh, thank you so much for talking the way you're talking. Mm -hmm. We've all been there, including myself. It's always a struggle. It's not, it's never going to end. Mm -hmm. There's no levels of enlightenment. It's a spiral. Mm -hmm. So some days you're up here and other days you're flat on your ass, mm -hmm. exactly where you're meant to be. Mm -hmm. And when we, when we go about it in a joking, laughing way and we're kind and we're honest and open and you're so open to be able to do this like on, you know, and in a live space <laughs> and just be on, like open-minded, like mm -hmm. I'm up for it. Mm -hmm. I'm saying yes. I like, can't wait. This is, this is something that we're asking the world right now to do yeah. is open yourself to more than what you see around us. Like these ways that we operate in clearly are not working mm. and it starts right here. The conflict really starts within your mm. own heart. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm really excited to talk about traumas and wounds and that's how we're going to start. And the easiest way to do this, and I of course don't even know what energies you bring in, but mm. I'm being guided. Mm. And we're going to do this for everyone so that we don't leave anyone out. Mm -hmm. So we're basically going to pull in green healing energy because I think, I feel that this is universal. Mm -hmm. This causes no separation. And this also puts us into a divine space. You can also pull in and make this a religious experience mm -hmm. uh, alongside the green light. Mm -hmm. But for right now, we're going to start there. So all you're going to do is you're just, you don't have to close your eyes even. Okay. You just have to be aware. Mm -hmm. So you're already aware that your ego is in the way yes. and just gently and lightly stating that just means you're in your own way. Mm -hmm. Ego is just when you're in your own way. Mm -hmm. Now we can really be in our own way mm -hmm. or we can just slightly be in our own way. Like there's more, you know, we can really let go and release and watch from a really graceful place of not investing the need, the want, the expectation, and the attachment into people, situations, feelings, words. We can really just love our way through every experience, whatever it looks like. It can look like a complete shit show, and you're loving your way through. It's a really beautiful place to sit mm. and to observe from. And so we want to try and be as kind to our own heart mm. and loving ourselves as deeply as we possibly can. And to do this, we're going to pull in the green light. Mm -hmm. So all you're going to do, you don't even have to close your eyes. Mm -hmm. You can just focus on your breath for a moment and just center yourself. So you're just going to quiet the mind. This is very powerful when you do this with intention. And the green healing energy, and just so you know, by the way, for me, that is Archangel Raphael. 
because I honor him in the sacred space. Mm -hmm. But for anyone, it can just be the green light, the mm -hmm. green healing energy. And we're going to imagine that coming now in through the top of the head and gently settling into the heart center. And if you can stop the mind and go in the heart, you can feel this. And every single one of us can feel this. So we're just gonna stop the thoughts for a moment. And if you're having trouble, I call this like the blender or the chatter. If you're having trouble with this, you're basically gonna ask the green healing energy to lift you gently. Mm -hmm. And this is what you're so excited about. Mm -hmm. Out of left brain and into right to a peaceful place that is balanced and loving and kind because this is what it takes being really kind and patient with yourself mm -hmm. and asking this green light that's infusing your heart right now and you might feel it all around your body in tingles and in vibration or just a knowing that it is here and you're actually experiencing this mm -hmm. and you have to create this in your imagination mm -hmm. so there's this beautiful place that we can go which is we are multi-dimensional. Mm -hmm. So right now we're inviting in the green healing energy to settle into our heart centers and to find one wound, one trauma. So we're gonna find two words and it can be really simple and it can be surprising when you really are out of the mind and you stop thinking. So we're stopping the thought to create in the heart what this healing is meant for, for today. And each day it could look different, how perfect with no expectations, no attachments, no needs, no wants. You're going right in the heart and you're unfolding one word. And this word is a feeling that you're holding on to, that you're ready now to release and transform in joy and in love and in kindness and patience with your own self. So you're gonna find that word. Tell me when you have it. Oh, I've got it. Good girl. <laughs> and you're going to release that. You can use your telepathy and give it to the green light, whatever that looks like. I can. I sometimes imagine myself holding the word and passing it over. Mm -hmm. I sometimes see butterflies flying out of my mouth. Mm -hmm. um, there's various ways that you can experience this for your own self. Because it might resonate with someone. Yes. At first I'm like, no, no. The, my, my word is hurt. Very good. Yeah, it's hurt. Yes. Yeah. You're hurt. Yeah. And you don't want to be. You want to transform that into love. Right. And it can be. This is where we don't understand quite mm -hmm. how simple it is. Mm -hmm. When we have intention and awareness and we go in the heart. Mm -hmm. Very powerful. Mm -hmm. So this loving energy that we can transform into is the most powerful energy on the planet. And it can bring us to an elevated st uh, sp state of being, mm -hmm. simply. So what you're going to do is imagine giving this hurt word over to the green energy. And then I want you to take a deep breath and feel that peaceful transformation to love. Feel it leaving your cube or your heart. You know, I call it your field of light or your, your field of consciousness. So it's actually just being lifted and cleared away. Now this could take, you know, several practice times to get to this peaceful balance or some people they do it one time and with that intention and with this created space you're transforming it i'm laughing because as i'm having the experience and the vision of it being taken i my experience is i was actually sucking it back yes. like it was being lifted and i was like wait wait hang on and like pulling almost like wanting to hold on to the hurt yes yeah. Yeah. So then I feel at this point, thank you for sharing that yeah. <laughs> and being so open and honest. I think that victimhood mm -hmm. can be lifted here. Mm -hmm. So this is very powerful. Mm -hmm. So why don't we pull in source energy? Mm -hmm. So I want you to imagine this beautiful diamond crystal light, this energy coming in through the top of your head and taking your victimhood and lifting it up through like a vacuum mm -hmm. being sucked away. And now I want you to imagine silver butterflies flying out of the heart center and all your victimhood and all your hurt is leaving. And take a deep breath and let all of that go now. You're transforming it to love, holding it with a peaceful balance. I just like want to dance. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of want to Feeling the yeah. joy. Yeah. Very good. So these were your two words. Yeah. And now all we have to do is in the sacred space, you want to really have gratitude because mm. gratitude also carries its own vibration and frequency. 
and you want to just say thank you, thank you, thank you, and really mean it um, until you meet again, which hopefully is not, you know, is yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. Would be good. And then you want to picture roots growing out of your legs, out through the bottom of your feet and deep into Mother Earth, where you want to be anchored and you want to be more aware, because awareness is everything. As soon as you're aware like you were, you were aware that the ego or yourself was in the way of articulating this, not understanding it, because of course I know that you already understood this, but articulating it and moving yourself out of the way, you want to just ask Mother Nature for help being more present, more aware, and again in the sacred space we say thank you, thank you, thank you. And I feel like it's, it's merits mention the, the i the concept of actually having gratitude for things that happen that maybe at one time felt really shitty yeah but then once you're able to understand the larger yes concept that the actual and actually genuinely being able to say thank you yes yeah you are my gift yes you got me to hear yes yes transforming the energies yeah and balance this is this is essential mm -hmm. yes <sighs> <laughs> good. if if you feel like I feel like even myself I would probably watch this back because you know we're all human and have our human experiences and, and could use this practice again so if you feel like if you're just hopping on go and watch the replay once we wrap up but going through this meditative process and this intention I would say mm -hmm. of healing uh, you can do this over and over and over again in different circumstances and in different situations when there's something that presses the ouchie button right yeah and I think even as a with a couple so let's just say for example a couple is having a hard time and there's conflict mm -hmm. I, I really feel like facing each other and even pressing your third eyes like your foreheads mm -hmm. together and going in and doing this exercise together mm -hmm this experience of lifting these energies that are in your way, mm. which is really not something that, it, it looks like it's something together, mm -hmm. but if there's something that, that's bothering you, it's actually inside of you. Mm -hmm. So taking the responsibility of clearing and healing and doing it at the same time simultaneously mm -hmm. is a really beautiful evening that you can, <laughs> you can, you can lighten yeah. you know, the conflict. Yeah. And I've done something like that with my best friend, her and I. Yes. And we've done that on a day where, and, and so it can work really with, um, in any sort of interpersonal relationship. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Even with a child. Yeah. Having a temper tantrum. Mm. You know, needing to really release. And I mean, mm. the temper tantrum is helping them transform the energy. Mm. Um, but imagine if it was simpler and they didn't have to go that far. Yeah. Teaching them the tools mm. of how to release and transform the energy. And it's so simple. So for the parents or caregivers, what would you suggest would be, if they see that that's something that's going to be coming on, how would you, uh, what would you, advise well, you, would you give them to Yeah, start? you would have to just go in your heart and do what you feel. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't do it wrong. Mm -hmm. Isn't you know, that when so you're nice? You're connecting, you can't get it, like, all Isn't the, yes. so nice? You can't do it wrong. You cannot do it wrong. Mm -hmm. You can do it some days really effectively, including myself, and other days it's very cloudy, mm. and it's very mucky, and I'm getting in my own way, and mm. I'm tripping and falling, mm. and how beautiful is that? Because mm. because I'm so light and kind on myself, mm. and I'm joking and laughing, I'm releasing some of that tension, some of that lower energy, mm. and I'm stepping into a higher vibrational field to be kind to myself, and to connect deeper, and to transform the energies that I'm grappling with sometimes you wake up and you wake up and you're not feeling balanced mm. and the children are no different mm -hmm. you know they're 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 beautiful powerful souls mm -hmm. and I find that when we when we speak to them like that and when we articulate things in a way that we feel in our heart deeply they're going to get it whether they have the language skill like they, they understand energy mm -hmm. so they're going to know how you're feeling and they're they feel truth mm -hmm. and so when you're tapping in 
to the divine light and to such organic, authentic truth, uh, they, they will uh, definitely run with it. Mm. And their imaginations, of course, they live in that world. Mm-hmm. So we almost want to revert back to like a childlike mm. way. And that's what we were talking about, where like, we feel like dancing and so joyful. When we have missions uh, where we cheer each other on mm-hmm. and empower each other, you know, instead of this competitiveness, we are in now team play, which is what the seed uh, really um, accents and stands for um, and just uh, you know allowing it to be instead of forcing things mm. um, this allowance and uh, a gentle kind way yeah yes it's so freeing mm-hmm. and so light yes it's a much more joyful place to be indeed than rigidity yes yeah I really hope that um, that this message served you and that you can keep this as a tool for yourself if you feel like you need to go back to the beginning of the practice and use it. Use it as you feel called to do so. The link to the seed is in the content box with this video, so feel free to get your copy with the Amazon link. And the audiobook is coming soon. Yes. Okay. Is there anything else that you would like to add? Um, I was called a while back to do Mm -hmm. audios um, right. A library of them, mm-hmm. um, and I'm I'm shown and guided to do 365, mm-hmm. um, which is one for every day, mm-hmm. and it's all different labeled uh, things that you could you may be struggling with, like different topics. Yeah, different yeah. topics, different um, experiences that we've gone through, or mm-hmm. or even things that uh, you know we've we've uh, come across in life mm-hmm. where we we're, we're really struggling. Mm-hmm. Um, and I and I do this because I really I, I'm like you like mm. we're very empathic so we want to we want to just like be so helpful mm. and uh, obviously the energy has to be directed to making books and films at this point mm. um, and creating music and different ways of sharing the message so I find that the library really empowers the soul to step into your own healing mm. because you really don't need anyone yeah you need just what's in your heart mm. And you need to believe in yourself and believe in your connection. Whatever that looks like is perfect. Mm-hmm. And then just practice. So it really just teaches practice. And even for myself, I go back and I find, uh, you know, the titles that I'm needing in the moment. And it's five to eight minutes a day. Mm-hmm. And it can really bring a lot of peace and a lot of balance. And where can they find that? Patreon. My Patreon page is the Seed Movement on Patreon. Um, yeah, we can put it. She's up gonna there. send me the link, but yes. I'm gonna put, post it up there. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. All right. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you Natalie, so for much. Me. I really enjoyed it.